Hi guys, Ishpreet here. Welcome back to Slick and Natty. And first of all, I want to apologize that I didn't post any video last week, and that is because I was down with viral. So, anyways, coming back to today's video, I'll be showing you how you can convert a shawl or a stole like this into a smart poncho like this with just one cut and two straight stitches. This is very quick and easy to make and will come very handy this winters and you can use all your old shawls. So this is the shawl that I'll be converting into a poncho today but before moving on to the actual shawl let me explain to you with the help of paper how this is done. So imagine that this is your shawl. First of all fold it into half and cut it into two equal parts. I'm marking the good side or the right side of these two halves as R and the wrong side as W so that there is no confusion. To begin with, take one of the two pieces, place it like this so that the right side is facing upwards and if there are any tassels on the shawl, they are facing outwards like this. Now take the second half and place it on the first one like this so that its wrong side is facing upwards and the right side of both the pieces are facing each other. The tassels of this piece should point downwards. Now join the two pieces on the top edge like this. In actual shawl, we'll be stitching instead of stapling. The final step now is to join point A to A and point B to B like this. And then stitch along this line. And this is it. Just flip it inside out. Make sure that these two points overlap each other. And your poncho is ready to be worn. This is the neck of the poncho. Also note that the tassels of the shawl have come onto the bottom edge of the poncho. Now let's repeat this on the actual shawl but before you cut it into two halves you have to make sure that the width of the shawl is equal to length of the shawl multiplied by 0.31. The shawl is generally 2 meters in length so if we multiply it by 0.31 the width comes out to be 0.62 meters which is equal to 24 inches. If you have a shawl which is of a different length or if you want to cut the shawl shorter to make a smaller poncho then just multiply the length with 0.31 to get the required width. Simple. My shawl is also 2 meters in length but it is 29 inches wide which is more than 24 inches. So I have to cut it down so that the width comes to 24 inches. If you don't want to cut your shawl then you can fold it from both the sides. and then get it stitched so that the width reduces and comes to your desired width. Now let's fold the shawl into half lengthwise as we had done with the paper and cut it into two equal parts. You will now have two parts each measuring 1 meter in length and 24 inches in width. Lay one of the halves like this so that its good side is facing upwards and the tassels are pointing outwards. Then take the other half and lay it on the first half like this so that its tassels are pointing downwards and the good sides of both the halves are facing each other. Next we have to join the two pieces by stitching them together along this top edge. I am using needle and thread here. You can even use a sewing machine to give this straight stitch. This is how the stitch will look once it is done. Now coming to the final step, you have to join point A1 to point A2 and point B1 to B2 and then stitch from A2 to B2. So you have to lift this edge of the upper half and lay it over the width of the lower half. Let me show it to you from another angle so that there is no confusion. Lift this part of the upper half and bring it on top of the width of the lower half like this. And now give a straight stitch along this line to join these two pieces together. As I am doing here. The poncho is now ready. This is the stitch that we just gave. Now just turn the poncho inside out Now just adjust the poncho so that these two points overlap each other Once this is done you will have a neckline like this and yeah, your poncho is ready. 
This poncho was so easy to make and it looks so smart and can be worn in winters over leggings, trousers, pants, jeans, even over a dress. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do connect with me on my Instagram account which is Slick and Natty. Do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.